We're walking the tree-lined playa somewhere in Las Palmas. We left the beach and uh, it's a beautiful sunny day and we're enjoying the breeze. Um, we're now in our last week here. And uh, coming up on our last week in Europe for this trip. So our thoughts have moved on to uh, our road trip across the U.S. this summer, which I calculated this morning will be about six to seven thousand miles with expensive gas and uh, some camping and necessary and fun visits. And, uh, you want to go in there? We could, definitely. All right. This is, a, this is a fancy store, El Corte Inglés, that our friend in Mallorca told us about. And, uh, but I think it's the Starbucks sign that has Olga heading this direction. All righty. El Corte Inglés. Uh-huh. Going down. We sure are. Going up. <laughs> Floor housewares. Yep. We're racing out of there because. It says haberdashery. Uh huh. <laughs> I only want to see the women's clothes. That's all I'm interested in. <laughs> Seven floors later. Yeah, I know. The very top floor was for the personnel. Not applying for a job at this time. Woohoo! Hello, Daniel. Okay, here we go. This is a very cheap ride for me. How so? You mean we haven't spent any money? Well. Yeah. I calculated uh, that Yeah. This is children's. Mm -hmm. We're still safe. You're still safe. It's children's clothing. It looks a little ethnic, though. Uh, it sure does. But you know, we've seen a lot of the uh, local women wearing those uh, old ethnic uh, cultural Yeah, the outfits. dancing, the Spanish dancing is a big and deal. And there are the... certain holidays where everybody gets dressed up. Okay, so this is the first floor. And I am really not seeing, we're still going down. So I'm looking for clothing. And I am assuming that it's here. Maybe I'm just not with it. Maybe they don't have clothing. How about that? Huh? Oh, we have another one? Ooh, maybe it's there. So five stories or seven stories up and maybe seven down. We're going below sea level. I think we are. Well, they have animals. Dog chow. Everybody but women, women's clothing. Ah, that's it's interesting. I say um, it might just be that. Nope. Look at that. Cute stuff. That's uh, for some that can be a bad idea. <laughs> All right. No clothing for you. Tools. And doggy toys. Ooh. Now that's cool. I want it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Wow. They are thin. Oh, how nice. No, that's really so too bad. Look, look for something like yeah, it. I do want something like that once mm -hmm. I figure out where to go. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very nice. What's the price on this? Do we have a price? Para tu piscina. Flow clear. All right. Okay. Okie doke. We shall do that. All right. Uh, we're going back up. 
and most likely back out to Starbucks. Not a bad idea again. All right, here we go. And just as I was thinking, oh, they don't have any women's clothing. How silly. Well, guess what? They have a whole separate building for the women's clothing. Now we're talking. <laughs> and I thought they just totally missed the boat. No, I missed the boat. Look, I don't know if this one is five or six stories as well, but boy, do they have women's clothing and men's. Fun. Yeah, that's good stuff. Very pretty. Hello, Dee. I'm just showing the miles of clothing. Windows. Other possibilities. All right, we'll check it out. I think Olga already gave you uh, part one and part two. Now we're actually in the store in part three. I'm just going to let people know that your capacity for shopping has not diminished. Well, I wouldn't say that. I won't say the quality of the findings are, are being challenged. You know, Ryan Air only allows so much luggage, so that in itself is already a built in security factor. I think you got a new dress yesterday. I did, and it packs almost nothing. And, uh, I had my moment of being happy that I got out with just a Starbucks. Hey, I told you, hey, I want to show you this. I really like these pants. May I tell you how much they are? 195 euros. Good. Yeah, yeah. Let's check the bargain rack. Oh my god. If you like, please subscribe.